Okay. Okay, so um, we are going to watch Firestar's uh, video on PvP, the thin line between piracy and griefing in Star Citizen. So. I might know the feeling where you're trying to get something done in Star Citizen, and then another player comes along and shoots your ship to pieces, or pad rams you. It's incredibly frustrating. It's incredibly fun. Let's just get one thing right. PvP in this game is a lot of fun. If you look at it as a negative thing, then you'll take it as a negative thing. But getting into fights with other players is some of the best fun you're ever going to have in this game. But there are some reasons why players may threaten or kill you in the game, as part of what we'll call the piracy game loop. But what's the difference? I'm Farrister, and in this video we'll briefly explore that idea and the line between piracy and griefing. That was a good shooting. I like that. I regularly share Star Citizen videos on my YouTube channel, so if this kind of video sounds like something you'd like to see more of, you might like to press that subscribe button so you know when new videos go live. Subscribe! I will openly admit to actively avoiding player versus player or PvP combat. Okay, so that tells me one thing. I am actively avoiding player versus player or PvP content. So we can already tell that this is coming from the point of view of somebody who is not interested in PvP because they either haven't been expressed, like it's it's for two reasons. One, because they haven't been exposed to the right training so that they can gain some kind of success in PvP. Because I almost guarantee you that if you have a little bit of success in PvP, you catch what's called the PvP shakes. It's like a bug. You know what I mean? Once you get it, it's hard to shake because it's such a dopamine rush when you actually get into a fight with another player and are successful. It's really exciting. It challenges you. So, you know, if you're not having success, you're going to have a negative outlook on PvP, right? So that tells me one thing. Or two, um, they haven't been exposed to the right training or they haven't had success, right? Those, those two things, right? In Star Citizen, it's not where my interests lie, and with desync, bug. Okay, here we go. Here's what the excuse is again, right? Here's the desync. I don't like it. It's not my thing in the game. This and that. It's because, look, I don't know this guy, but I can tell he's in the boat that a lot of people in Star Citizen are in, right? He doesn't have success at PvP. He doesn't understand some of the mechanics at a deeper level that he can really dive into when it comes to PvP. Because the truth is shooting npcs and then shooting players it is a night and day difference right it's a night and day difference so when you train for pvp which again you can't train in in regular star citizen land you have to go to discord servers you have to find them on youtube you have to go into discords like you you have to expose yourself to a different element of the community to get better at that thing but if you don't do that you're not going to have success, which means you're going to have that negative outlook on PvP. But I almost guarantee you, man, if you had success, Finley, welcome to Imperial Navy. If you had, if this guy had success in PvP, his reactions to stuff, I think, would be vastly different. And imbalance challenges. It's not my cup of tea at the moment, but that doesn't mean I don't respect the gameplay intents of genuine pirates looking to make their fortune in-game by pillaging and looting. And that's an important distinction between the genuine pirate and the griefer. The pirate, the genuine pirate and the griefer. Remember that. Pirate is out to chase money, to chase profits. They'll hold you to ransom and only kill you as a last resort. After all, it's bad for business. Whereas the griefer is out just to ruin your game. They don't care about making money. They're only interested in drawing a childish satisfaction. Okay, so. <sighs> wrong on two on two occasions right uh and here's why and this is the disconnect this is the disconnect between you know what we call space dads or care bears or people not interested in pvp and the general pvp audience right um right now in star citizen losing stuff doesn't mean shit it doesn't mean anything and even when it starts to mean stuff guess what you're going to have a large portion of the community that will simply kill you because because fuck it, why not? Have you ever played DayZ or EVE Online, hmm, right? And so th if you are putting these people into boxes and you're saying, oh, those are those people 
and these are these people and we don't want to associate with them it's like that's cool you can do that i mean we're all tribalistic human beings but if you're not training to defend yourself against those people then you can make YouTube video after YouTube video spitting about how horrible it is and how it's terrible for the game and, and blah, 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 blah. And you'll always be a victim to those people. Always and forever, right? Always and forever. From spoiling your fun. And griefers, like, how do I say it this way? Oh God, cancel Avenger one. There's a big difference between pad ramming somebody and harassing them in chat and just acting really rude that would be considered griefing. Like I'm I'm a streamer, I get I get pad rammed every once in a while, but I have it recorded and I take the proper steps and then I shake it off and I go about my day. It's a lot different from the guy that's just flying around, sees a target and goes like, "Ah fuck it" and just shoots at it, right? That person's not an asshole and that person's not a griefer. If you think that someone's just shooting on sight is a griefer, like, I'm sorry, but you are in for a world of hurt when stuff like pyro comes out. And if you have that mindset that you're a griefer as soon as you engage in any kind of activity that is, you know, I'm engaging somebody, like, then everybody is going to be a griefer. Do you know what I mean? Like, PvP is not, like, just the guys that hang out in Arena Commander, right? I mean... You could even argue that there's griefing within Arena Commander itself when teams of people gang up on one dude. Like it's like we're back in high school and there's like five guys pushing some kid into a locker. Like I've been that kid in the locker both in the game and in real life. We all know what that feels like, or at least a lot of us do, right? You know, so you either get tough and you get yourself out of it, go learn jujitsu, go join the army, whatever the case may be, come to the Avenger Squadron Discord, have some fun, learn, train, get better, so that when the bullies come, you can defend yourself, right? But it's just like, I'm, I'm not enjoying this video in the sense that like, I, I like his production quality, but like what he's saying, I feel like is, is, is a mirror to a lot of what's going on with the star system community. It's like, you know, basically like, don't interact with me at all. I only want to interact with people that are going to be nice to me, but you, you're forgetting like the most important part of the game is the human interaction between players and this idea that, like, the, the idea of griefing is so broad, it's so big, it's like, this guy sounds like everybody's a griefer, and like, we'll, we'll see, and we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, but I got, a, I got a sneaky suspicion this gentleman is going to put basically the vast majority of PvP people in the PU as griefers. Star Citizen currently has its share of both. And you'll probably notice it a little more because pirate players don't have any AI to go after yet. Much of what's been discussed for Star Citizen points... That's not true because I go do bounty hunter missions for hammerheads which which give me 40,000, 45,000 per head. I do the I do the Navy mission at Crimestat 5 that allows me to kill Navy members for 60,000 a pop. So I'm making 105,000, you know, rolling that over and over and over again to say that there's no AI to shoot is just bullshit. Towards a 90% AI, 10% player kind of ratio. And so at the moment, pirates are heavily geared towards targeting players. So that- Because targeting players is what is the most fun in the game. Do you think people play DayZ because they want to shoot the zombies all day forever? I mean, I'm sure there are some people that do. But most people play DayZ for the human interaction between people. I mean, that's where all YouTube videos are mostly based on. That's where a lot of the community interaction between players is based on. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Something that may change in the future. But it's an important gameplay element. It introduces a risk factor to peaceful industrial or commercial activities. And in the long run, that element of risk can be different depending on how well patrolled or safe your area of operations is. And naturally, having the option to go be a pirate gives more variety to Star Citizen, which I've often said is a good thing. The challenge is where to draw the line between that piracy and griefing. If you're on the receiving end of a pirate, you probably don't find it a pleasant experience. You're not supposed to. But hopefully, like me, you can empathize with another player looking to make money, make their way in the game. 
to me, the griefing comes in when it's just about killing you. I, f I fucking knew it. See, this is what I mean. This is what I'm talking about. Remember what I said literally two minutes ago? I think this guy's gonna put everybody who shoots, you know, like, that doesn't basically... If you're not in a very specific way of engaging players that results in them not dying and stealing your cargo, if you're not engaged in that very specific avenue of PvP, then everybody's a fucking griefer like i'm sorry but that is just simply wrong on so many levels for no other reason it's actually this kind of attitude from guys like this that like it, it is like pushing people into this mindset of like you know when they get engaged by somebody in the persistent universe they go like oh man like you know that guy didn't didn't even like call me he didn't even try to steal my cargo he just shot me it's like yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of people, you know, and later on when salvage comes in, there's going to be more of a reason for people to come and just shoot you and they'll just salvage your ship because it's less effort to just shoot you than it would be to call you and be like, take your stuff off the ship. Let's go. And like, <laughs> and then to ruin your, and also again, right? Like how I look at things from my perspective again, right? This is coming from a, a player versus player perspective and he's coming from the much opposite direction, right? But we both need each other for this game to succeed. But demonizing one side or the other is not gonna help here. Like this gentleman is demonizing basically all forms of PVP that's outside of specifically targeting players for like the, the piracy side. So then what happens to the guy who just wants to go out there and be a student of war, a student of combat, a student of, of the game's mechanics when it comes to being a good fighter pilot, a good shooter? For enjoyment of the game, whether that's by boarding your ship or shooting you in space, or even worse, pad ramming you. It's yeah, pad ramming is different. Pad ramming is an exploitive game mechanic that is just highly annoying it's annoying to the point where cig is obviously taking steps to mitigate it but if you're getting pad rammed specifically from somebody because they're just there to mess with you record it give it to cig and let them deal with it right we're going to get stations with with hangers that are going to disallow this kind of behavior and mechanics are going to come in place where this is becoming less and less of a thing so do your part you know make cig aware of if somebody's doing pad ramming and just go about your day guys it's an alpha game when you lose a ship, you go back to the station, you click the button, it says, you know, get your, get your, get your ship, uh, respond. You wait two minutes, you know, and you have your ship back. You don't lose any money. You don't lose any real money. You don't lose any credits really, unless you expedite it when the credits you use to expedite are like almost nothing. So the only thing you lose is, is a little bit of time. So it's like, it's, it's a non-issue. Like, like, just record it, send it to CIG, and go about your day if they're pad ramming you. But that's... It's that childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure, and it corrupts and strangles online games. That childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure. It's that childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure. It's that childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure. It's that childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure, and it corrupts and strangles online games. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. El bañador. Voy a la playa, había subido la marea. Eso. Eso. Había subido la marea con chulo para ella. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking around for my fucks to give. Because my my last fuck went right out the window there. So, he wants to talk about childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure. And this, to me, is nothing but grand, like grandstanding, right? You want to stand up on your moral high horse and talk about that everybody who engages in PvP, basically, like, is a toxic, sadistic, twisted person. Like, really, man? <laughs> we would be honored like, if you would join us. You know, it's like, okay, at least we know where this gentleman stands, right? It's uh, it's ironic to me. 
it's very ironic that someone who wants to call people up for being childish, sadistic, and twisted uh, is labeling vast majority, like vast parts of the star system community who currently are playing. And also in the future, a very large portion of the star system community will be engaging in some form of player versus player to say that they're all cystic and, twi and, and twisted. Is it possible? Is it possible that maybe if the majority of people are pointing at you or you're pointing at them, there's a about a million fingers pointing back at you. Like, come on, man. Like you're, this is, this is silly. This is very silly. Right. Um, like, Jesus Christ. And in my opinion, it needs to remain punishable and reportable in order to keep Star Citizen healthy. But what if... When it comes to pad ramming, I will agree. But everything else he's mentioning... There's a no. genuine reason to kill you that you're not aware of. Maybe you stumbled across a top secret mining location and you've been killed to stop you from realizing that. It's such a tough balancing act. So what do you think? Do you agree with me, or am I- I'm sorry, this is triggering me like crazy. This guy is in a, in a rate fight with an Ion against an M50, and he's not extending. He's just continuously holding the rate fight. <laughs> training! Where is your training? This is what I'm talking- This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys, right? This guy has a negative opinion of PvP because he fucking sucks at PvP. For God's sake, man, get some bloody training. I just to care about having a bit of a complaint. I look forward to discussing with you in the comments. Hopefully you enjoy- And he's not even roll aiming. Like he's just, he's completely yaw aiming onto the target. He's like completely out of position. He's, com he's completely like, ah, oh God. Enjoyed this little video, in which case you might hit that like button so I know what sort of thing you're finding most interesting to watch. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed and as ever, thank you for watching. Oh, Jesus Christ, why'd you guys make me watch that? Okay, look. <clears throat> look, I don't want to sound like a total asshole here, but I think the honesty, I think it needs to be said, right? It, he's entitled to his own opinion, and there's nothing against him, right? I'm sure if I sat down at CitizenCon, we had a couple beers, I'm sure we'd have a great time, right? So this isn't a shot against him as a, like, a, as a person. I'm not talking about who this person is i've never met him i'm sure he's a great guy and that's not what i'm talking about but this idea but what i will do is i'm going to attack his idea here because this this gentleman's idea of pvp of labeling all pvp as uh, like or at least the vast majority as far as i understand um like that all that most pvp is like the you know that you're a childish person that 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 doesn't care about the game and all that stuff is so far from the truth. It's so far from the truth. Like, it's so far. Because the best part about Star Citizen is engaging in player versus player and having a good ass time doing it. Yes, it's not perfect. Yes, there is some desync. Yes, there are bugs. Yes, you don't lose anything when you die, truly. It's an alpha state of the game. So, like, if you wanna be left alone, if you don't want to interact with people, if you just want to play a co-op experience, Star Citizen is not for you, buddy. Like, go find Elite Dangerous. And guess what, guys? I think most of us here in the Star Citizen community have played Star, like Elite Dangerous. And there's a big reason why Elite Dangerous is dying faster than we can say Star Citizen's still in alpha. You know what I mean? Because the game is almost entirely player versus like environment. And, like, the human interaction side of things is just, like, it's just not there, right? As well as the company has made some really boneheaded decisions in the past, right? But the life force of your game... I'm going to use an example here, okay? EVE Online is going on its, I think, 22nd or 23rd year of, of being out. It's been out for two decades. Two decades! The game's older than most people that are in high school right now. We would be honored so, if you would join us. You gotta ask that question. And that game is almost entirely based around player versus player. Now, there are a lot of other avenues to experience in EVE Online. But the game has been out and it's also been healthy for a very long time. Now, it does have a niche audience, so it's not growing to massive levels. But the reason why games like that are so good is because the player versus player aspect there is a level of ex like sandbox experience that you're going to get 
when it comes to interacting with players that you're never going to get when you interact with NPCs. Straight up, end of story, full stop, right? So to say that <laughs> the people that are engaging in combat, you know, again, are these childish, sadistic, twisted pleasure. It's like, it's, it seems to me like it's you that's being the childish one because you're failing to understand the very important nature of the duality of a game like this. It's like you have to have the bad guys and you also have to have the good guys, right? Um, it's just, it's frustrating because I'm, I'm trying to educate people on how to be better at the game. And again, right, we watched this gentleman's video. He's not yaw, he's yaw aiming, which is wrong. So he's not even fighting in pitch. He's not rate fighting. Like, like, it's just, there's so many things that he's doing wrong fundamentally in terms of just flying his ship. It's no wonder to me the guy doesn't like PvP because he fucking sucks at PvP. So instead of mocking the guy and being like, yeah, screw this guy. It's like, come on to Discord, man. I will train you for free and you'll get better at it, and you start getting success with PvP, your entire outlook will change. Combat becomes really fun. Like, it gets really fun. Yes, there's desync, but does it stop you from having a good time? No. <laughs> right? So, there's, there's no education in Star Citizen when it comes to player versus player. Really, truly, there really isn't, right? But when it comes to like shooting NPCs down, there's there's tutorial videos and there's tier lists and there's streamers that will that'll talk to their blue in the face. But who the fuck is out there trying to give you guys PvP information? This guy. Because I understand, like some people in the PvP community, that in order for us to experience the game in all of its great avenues, you have to educate people. And like CIG doesn't have a tutorial system. Right? And a lot of guys, and unfortunately, a lot of guys that do put out PvP videos, you know what I mean? There's only a very small select few of them. And again, right, if you if you scream and yell and tell these people and in, the, in the general audience and the general star system community that these people that are engaging in PvP are all degenerates and they're bad for the community, it's like, bro, like, you're so wrong. <laughs> like, you're so wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When I see videos like this, I just... It's just, it's coming from a place of ignorance and it's coming from a place of like, it feels like it's coming from a place of like, it's like grandstanding. It's it's just like, it's like, I am playing this game and, and everyone who doesn't play like me is a bad person that's, you know, that's X, Y, Z words. It's like, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know, there are, there are things that are griefing like pad ramming that CIG has come out and said publicly, yeah, this is against terms of service, it's, it's getting in the way, whatever. But if I'm just going about my day and I'm just flying around by Grim Hex and I see somebody, I'm gonna shoot them. Not because I'm a raging asshole, but because I wanna get a fight started. I want I wanna fight. I want to fight all the time. I enjoy combat in this game immensely. I enjoy combat in this game. And when I find someone I haven't fought before, it's exciting because I get to fight them and find out who's better and it's exciting. You know what I mean? Like you don't know who, how good this person is. They might be really good. You don't know, right? So it's, it's exciting to me to get into fights. I'm a student of war. There's a big difference between being someone who is interested in being... It's like when you go to a martial arts place. So, so then let me ask you this question. So that everybody who goes to like uh, the gym, like jujitsu, and starts to learn how to be a good killer, basically is what you're training to be. Like, are you gonna be utilizing these skills uh, on your daily life? Probably not, right? But does that make all people who, you know, who, who, uh, who, who enjoy the pursuit of excellence, the pursuit of something difficult, the pursuit of something that makes them a more deadly, a more lethal uh, uh, competitive person? Like that is something that, is to be looked down on? No. I feel like the people who look down on those folks are people who maybe are low on the totem pole in terms of their own ability, and so they want to tear people down that are doing better than them because they're like, you know what, fuck this guy. Like, you know, like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, so you know how to choke someone out. But, but you know, but it's like, yeah, but you're trying to devalue what these people really enjoy. And I think that's childish, right? So, it, like, the it works both ways, right? So... Well, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Um, 
you know, uh, I'm sure this far star guy will probably have a negative opinion of me after this, um, which is unfortunate. You know, I'm not here to make enemies, but I'm also here not to not to put up with bullshit. It's like, you know, this is it. This is not a healthy way of looking at PvP. You know what I mean? You've got to understand the philosophy of why people enjoy getting into fights. And also, you got to understand too, man, this isn't real life. This is a, a video game that we all live together and we all are building together because like, you know, like it or not, like CIG and the community are kind of together in this. So, you know, we have to find a way to kind of forgive each other on both sides of the aisle, right? Like, I'm, I'm hoping this gentleman can forgive me, but at the same time it's like bro like the way you're thinking about this is not healthy it's like the way you're thinking about pvp it's like you just need to be exposed to the right kind of pvp and receive the right kind of training so that you can experience the great kind of pvp that this game has to offer and your tune about pvp will completely change and you my friend will most likely be the one later on then you know, being so excited about like player versus player in combat in general that you'll probably start shooting people try to, to, to try to start a fight because you're just like, I want to fight. Let's go. <laughs> right. Um, and that's just the way it is. It's the way it is, man. And pyro is only going to get worse for griefers, you know, so you're faced with a choice, right? You can you can demonize that section of the community, which is only going to grow and get more loud and get better, and you're only going to get hunted down more by these people. Or you can go on the other side of the spectrum and you can accept the fact that the way you're looking at PvP is possibly wrong, and that if you spent a little time getting the right training and experiencing player versus player, then your opinion of something that you understand a little more fully will change as it goes on, right? And that's what I want to see, right? Um, Anyway, cancel Avenger 1. Here we go. 2022. 